Okay, hello, Ferrier, how are you today? I hope you're happy and fine. Well, today is Wednesday, the 17th of June. I tell you how we are going to work today, yes, okay? So in the first part of the class, we are going to check pages 48, 49, 50 and 51. This is the autocorrection. Remember, you must check your exercises and you must do your exercises. If you are not doing the activity book, if you are skipping the classes, you are not going to succeed. Yes, entonces no nos podemos saltar las clases porque es como si fuera que el alumno, no es como si fuera, es que el alumno está ausente en las clases. ¿Se entiende? Entonces, what happened, esto me estoy dando cuenta de una cosa, o están adelantando las clases o no sé qué está pasando o esa, casa, esa parte se les borra de, de la proyección que están viendo de, de, del vídeo. Because only from all my students, only Josefina used one word. I don't know what happened with the other words, Jose. And Guillermina is the only person, the only student that used all the math words. I didn't write it on the um, on the on the photo pizarra on purpose because I want to check. Yes, I want I wanted to check. If you really, if you are really watching the classes, so one way of seeing that was saying the words in the class and not writing them on the board. So in this way, the people, all the students that saw the complete class were able to put all the words, all the mass words in the composition and the rest what happened? Yes? You know, I'm making the effort of recording the whole class, the correction, the explanation of all the words, but you have to make the effort at home and be conscious of your work, be responsible and watch the complete class. Yes? Okay? So, concentrate please and be responsible. Because your parents are paying for the classes, yes? They pay me, I teach you, I do my work, and now you have to do your work. Is it clear? Good. This is my advice, yes? Remember, I give, a, I give advice. You take it or leave it, yes? Okay? Good. And um, well, so I'm going to explain the mistakes from the um, descriptions. Of course, you have to open your file, open your correction, see the mistakes for not committing the same mistakes. Máximo, no sé cuántas veces ya te pedí que necesito el trabajo en PDF. Yes? Otro que está mirando, tu mamá me, me dijo la otra vez que era muy corta la clase. La clase generalmente dura toda la clase. ¿Sí? Por favor, no mientan a los padres porque me hacen quedar mal a mí. Yo no estoy mandando clases de 5 minutos, de 10 minutos. Estoy mandando clases de 40 minutos. Estoy mandando todas las clases com completas. So, be responsible at home. Do your job. I will do mine. Your parents are paying for your classes. Is it clear? Yes. Es lo que nos tocó, chicos. ¿Sí? Es lo que nos tocó. Ustedes tienen que estar en su casa. Yo también tengo que estar. Entonces, tenemos que poner responsabilidad de ambas partes. Si uno no es responsable, no va a avanzar. Yo voy a avanzar con la gente que está siendo responsable. ¿Sí? El resto se va a quedar en el, en el camino. I'm sorry to say that, but it's like this. Okay? Is it clear? So, uh, we're going to check the mistakes from the descriptions. Remember, you have to open your files, yes, and see the mistakes. Then, we are going to make a quick review. Yes, I'm going to show you, yes, uh, an exam. You are going to organize your ideas. You are going to see how the global exam is going to be. Yes, I'm going to give you the tips, all the things you have to take into account for studying at the weekend, okay? Yes, I, I suppose you have been studying during all those days, all these days, yes? Because I have sent you, I have sent you the notes before. Is it clear? Good. Uh, well, then I'm going to explain how you have to do re the revision. And, yes, you have to make a brainstorming, a brainstorming, yes, from chapters 
algunas personas ya leyeron y ya leyeron hasta toda la historia y todo, pero bueno, hay otros que no. Para literatura complementaria, I need that you read compulsory from chapters 1 to chapter 4. Yes? So, the homework, the homework of this class is going to be write a brainstorming of the turn of the screw desde los chapters 1 to chapter 4. You are going to write a brainstorming. And you are going to record, yes, a video, a three minutes video explaining what is it about from chapter 1 to chapter 4. Ok, el video tiene que tener 3 minutos y ahí me vas a explicar desde el capítulo 1 hasta el capítulo 4. ¿Por qué? Porque necesito esa, llegó el momento, para eso te hice comprar la short story. Yes, la short story no es para estar ahí abandonada, nomás porque te quiero hacer comprar, porque sí. ¿Está? Informen por favor bien en las casas, porque me llega cada mensaje que eh, me da pena por los padres, ¿sí? Porque no, no, no están conversando con ustedes y le están escondiendo cosas, ¿está? Así que por favor, cada uno en su casa sea sincero con sus familiares, ¿ya? ¿sí? Con sus papás. Good. Entonces, ¿para qué? Porque la nota del brainstorming y la nota del video va a ser la nota que te voy a poner en la libreta de calificaciones en literatura complementaria. ¿Es clear? Yes, ok. Bueno, so let's start because we have a lot of things to do today. Yes, ok. Well, I will sit down, yes, because then I will have to stand up again. Yes, all right. Well, um, las más words eran smart, Miserable, massive, and uh, enormous. Yes? Words que son de la unidad para practicar, para que vos practiques, para que te acuerdes las palabras. Ok? Mia, uh, stay at, didn't give my money back. Yes? Ok? Benicio, ahí necesitabas, uh, acordate, traveled el pasado. Ojo con el past, chicos. Yes? I didn't know what. Uh, where I would go Ahí necesitas un would Porque cuando te quieres referir A eh, un futuro En el pasado Es would I didn't know where I would go Ok Dreamed about ING Yes Arrive in Arrive at Pay attention everybody there Because you have arrive in Small places uh, Big places And arrive at small places, si podríamos decirlo, entre lugares pequeños y lugares grandes, ¿está? For example, arrive in Spain, arrive in Argentina, arrive at the station, yes, arrive at the airport, all right? Is it clear? So, remember, when you are about to use arrive, think about, you have with the two prepositions, arrive in or arrive at, arrive in big places and arrive at small places. And you can remember this. By remembering, arrive at the airport, arrive at the station, arrive in Spain, ar arrive, arrive in Paris. Okay, is it clear? Good. Enter a place. I entered my house. Camila, las dos fechas, chicos, esto no cambió nada, ¿eh? La metodología es la misma. La fecha de entrega, la fecha que se pide el trabajo y la fecha de entrega tiene que ir arriba más el título del... Eh, del trabajo escrito que te pido. Is it clear? So pay attention, concentrate, do your job. I, I will do mine. Okay? Uh, it has been my room since. Mm, puedes usar un present perfect ahí porque vos pusiste since. Desde que tenés tantos años. Okay? Rob, I was nervous, afraid, tried to care me to. Y el verbo en infinitivo. Yes? To escape, to go into the water. Yes, Dani, well done. Okay, uh, see the little mistakes you have there. Okay, Guille, I went on holidays with my family. El orden, eh? Ojo, order, eh, Guille, eh? Muy bien, la única que usó todas las más words. Well done. Okay, good. Uh, José, usaste una, pero no sé qué pasó con las otras más words. Okay. Uh, past, traveled, arrived, in y arrived at, lo mismo. Eh, enter a place, lo mismo que expliqué antes, eh, tenerlo en cuenta. Yes, ok. Good, José. Ok. Uh, 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 uh. 
Bueno, y Máximo no te pude corregir porque me mandaste en un formato que no es, ¿sí? Es una imagen y yo necesito un PDF, ¿sí? Que todas las clases repito lo mismo, ¿sí? Ponete a ver las clases, Maxi, por favor. ¿Yes? Ok. Porque si no vas a estar muy recontra, mega archa, atacado. Yo no, eh, atrasado. Yo no soy la conciencia. Ustedes tienen, no puedo ser la voz de la conciencia de cada uno. Y es cada uno tiene su propia voz y ya saben las cosas que tienen que hacer bien y que tienen que hacer bien. Metirla a los papás no les va a llevar a ningún lado, a ningún buen puerto. Yes, ok, so, let's go to page uh, 48. Yes, are you there? Good? All right. Well, exercise 3. Yes, exercise 3. Ok, the things, the word we get. All right. Number 3. 1. Up, get up. 2. Get back. 3. Get ready. 4. Get a plane. Get the plane. 5. What presents did you. Ta, ta, ta. 6. Pension. And 7. Married. Page 49. Page 49. Ok. No, 49 teníamos que hacer. 50. Ok. Number 1. Tasty. Number 2. Colorful. Number 3. Dull. Number 4. Massive. Number 3. Miserable. Number 6. Exciting. You will need. All these adjectives today in the revision, okay? So, of course, you have to study and highlight all the keywords in the activity book here and here, okay? All the keywords, all the vocabulary, okay? Good. 1B, 1B, 2A, 3E, 4F, 5C, 6D. ¿Ok? ¿Yes? Ok, tenía todos los adjectives that describe people, describe food, uh, describe festival, uh, adjectives that dis can describe transport and town. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? So let's go to page uh, pa, 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 51. ¿Ok? Good. Number one, a fret. Two, warm. Three, awful. Four, strong. Five, tall. Six, polite. 7 high, 8 touch, 9 needy, 10 relaxed. Ok? Good. Number 3. A place, port of Spain, treme. Type of dish or something you can eat. Feijoada. Something that gives light, firework, candle. Stage of life, infant, middle age. A group of people. Hammer teenagers, okay? Well, that's all from here. So let's go now to the practice. I will show you some tips there. Yes, you have to take into account things you have to study. Yes, all right. There we are. And then you are going, I'm going to uh, give you tips for the brainstorming. Okay. There we are. Good, good, good. There. Please come in. Oh, thank you. Yes, good. So pay attention now. I want you to look at the board. Yes, in the first part you will have a reading. You will have to work with the reading. Yes, okay. 
But then you will have to complete the sentences using specific vocabulary. Yes, okay? And you will have words to complete with vocabulary. Ten, ten uh, or five sentences that you will have to work all with vocabulary. So that it is very important that you study all the vocabulary from the activity book and from the class book. All the words that we have been highlighting. Yes, okay? So you have words from there. Yes, good. Then, this is an example. You will have to complete the following sentences with the grammar study this year. So you need to know all the grammar, all the grammar. Yes, because if you don't know the grammar, Yes, okay, you will be in problems. It could be very difficult for you to complete the sentences. Okay, is it clear? Good. So you have complete sentences. Yes, number one, moms next year. Yes, okay, are going to... To blah, 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 blah. Because it's next year. When you were six years old, what did you used to do when you were six years old? When the phone rang. When the phone rang, okay? Were you eating when the phone rang? When the phone rang? Yes, okay? So you have tenses there. Yes, you have grammar there. Yes? When does the shop open? I'd like to know when the shop opens. Ronaldo isn't football player in the world. Isn't the best football player. So you have a superlative sentence there. My bike is as yours. They are both ta ta ta. So you have is as expensive as another comparative. Susan is rosy. Another is Taller than Rosie, as intelligent, more intelligent than Rosie. Yes, okay, good. And all these sentences as regard grammar. But you need to know all the grammar. And when you have the syllabus, yes, okay, when you have the syllabus, los syllabus no se vendían en una librería, eh? Los syllabus lo tienen en lo que se vendía en la librería, que yo maté en la notita, es la. Short story. Eso lo expliqué en clase. ¿Sí? ¿Dónde, tiene, um, ¿Dónde tienen ustedes toda la gramática de la 1 hasta la 6? Subrayado en el classbook. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Toda la grammar is highlighted. Todos los grammar charts están subrayados en el classbook. ¿Ok? Si fuiste siguiendo las clases, sabes que todos los grammar charts tienen que estar subrayados y la gramática de la 1 hasta la unit 6, ¿ok? And all the words, all the vocabulary are highlighted in the book, ¿yes? ¿ok? ¿Is it clear? Good. So you have to pay attention, ¿yes? All the vocabulary... All the grammar is highlighted in the classbook. Is it clear? Recuerdo para algunas personas que están perdidos por ahí. Yes? Okay. Good. So this could be complete the sentences. Okay? Good. And then you will have, of course, you will have a make question. Yes? A make question sentence. Okay? My parents are going home after the party, ok? So, after the party, después de la fiesta, te voy a preguntar, what, when, what time? Ok, when, yes, when are, am, aro, y, sujeto, your parents going to go to go home? Where are your parents? Ah, when are your parents? When are your parents? Uh, when are your parents?
that's going home. Okay? When are your parents going home? After the party is the answer. Paula was making a beautiful drawing last night. What was Paula doing after last night, perdón, last night? She was making a beautiful drawing. So, what you need to respect here is WH was aware, sujeto, verbo y complemento. Is it clear? Yes, ok. O sea, acordate por favor de todas estas cosas que tenés que tener en cuenta. Después va a haber multiple choice. Completar un párrafo también. The teacher asked me to, puede haber vocabulario y puede haber gramática. I must get of all these old clothes. There is, mm, ok, vamos a hacer esta, la cuatro. There is cheese in the fridge. Too much cheese, too many cheese, or a few cheese. Too much, ok. ¿Por qué? Porque cheese is uncountable. Y usamos match con uncountable, many for countable. Acá tenés los quantifiers. If you win the lottery, what you will do? What will you do? Or what are you going to do? What will you do? Option B. Yes, that is conditional if present future. Yes, ok. Yo estoy mostrando esto como ejemplo. Lo que se les va a tomar son los contenidos de la Unit 1 to Unit 6. Ok, estoy mostrando el formato. Sí, como siempre. Igual ustedes ya saben el formato de los... Pero estoy mostrando como para darte una ayuda para que te pongas serio y estudies. Ok. Many people complete with the tenses. Many people that in the future teachers... Many people think that in the future teachers anymore, okay, they will be replaced, they won't work, yes, voy a usar el future anymore, but I think that they definitely will continue in front of the classroom guiding students because it is difficult to make, it is difficult, and blah, blah, blah. Yes, so complete with tenses. You will have a paragraph, you will have make questions, yes, you will have vocabulary, multiple choice, okay, complete sentences with vocabulary. So I want you to study, yes, okay, and then you will have uh, the composition and the listening. Is it clear? Well, so, antes de ir a la explanation of the short, the, the, la revision que tenés que hacer, lo peor que puedes hacer is, es ir directamente y resolver la revision sin haber mirado toda la clase porque te perdés de cantidad de cosas. Yes, okay. Good. Well, so pay attention now. This is the short story. Yes, this is this is the short story. Good. Well, so you will uh, remember the brainstorming is from you from chapters one. Yes, to chapter. Yes. So you will put the turn of the screw in the middle. Yes, the turn of the screw. Okay, and you will put the characters there. Yes, all the characters. Yes, okay, from chapters one. Yes, okay. So you will put mice, flora. Estoy dando la, uh, los tips para el brainstorming, eh? Okay. Uh, the governess. And so on. Y todo lo que van apareciendo. ¿Qué vas a poner en cada personaje? Description. Yes, flora. A nice girl. A mysterious, a naughty boy. Todo lo que sepas de Mile, todo lo que sepas de the, the governess, and actions. Y las acciones principales. Yes? What happened? Yes? Okay? Con cada personaje, con cada uno de ellos. Is it clear?
clear? Entonces, le pones description of the main character, shy, uh, naughty, mysterious, ¿ok? Is it clear? Uh, the governess, a good girl, yes, ¿ok? And then the actions. ¿Por qué? Porque este brainstorming es el que te va a ayudar a contar la historia desde el capítulo 1, yes, desde el capítulo 1. Me vas a poner también quién es él, eh? Who's this? Who do you think he's the man? Yes, behind the mirror, yes, ok? Not the mirror, behind the, through the door, that she sees through the door, ok? So, until chapter 4, ok? Todo lo que van apareciendo y qué va pasando, yes? What, uh, a letter comes, what happens there? Atención, no quiero que lean, porque se les nota demasiado cuando están leyendo, chicos. Por más de que traten de no mover los ojos y eso, se les nota totalmente cuando leen, ¿está? Yo no quiero una lectura porque quiero evaluar si sabes contar la historia, los cuatro chapters de la historia, en pasado. Quiero que me pronuncies bien los, los tenses en paz, ¿no? Acordate. Tu brainstorming tiene que estar hecho. Cuando está hecho, le sacas una foto, PDF, me mandas en PDF. ¿Por qué? Porque yo necesito corregir todos los personajes, ¿sí? Y con cada una de las acciones que tienen esos personajes, ¿está? Entonces, un, ya te expliqué, te volví a explicar, igualmente vos ya estás en third year, ya sabes cómo hacer un brainstorming pero te lo vuelvo a explicar para que no haya ningún tipo de excusas a la hora de hacer el trabajo, ¿está? Ok, so, pay attention, yes, uh, revise everything, yes, vas poniendo cada cosa de cada personaje, yes, ok, the governess, she, looks after, she looked after mice and flora, ok, and where do they come from, why they are there, what about the house, what about who is Mr. Quint, yes, ok, So I want you to put everything. What about uh, the housekeeper? Yes, okay. Is it clear? Uh, Mrs. Cruz. Yes, so organize your ideas. Practicalo y después pone play y te grabas. Pero no leas. No pongas una cosa ahí pegada, ¿sí? Y leer una cosa porque se nota. Yo a esta altura tengo muchos años de experiencia Así que me doy cuenta cuando están leyendo y yo no quiero evaluar lectura. Quiero evaluar si sabes contar una historia en pasado. ¿Es clear? ¿Yes? Por más de que hagan todos los tips que se ponen re cerca de la cámara y de todo se nota, chicos, porque hay eh, diferentes um, cosas que hacen que se les nota cuando están leyendo. ¿Yes? Entonces dejen por favor de hacer esas tonterías y pónganse a grabar el video. La gente que estuvo leyendo estoy hablando. ¿Yes? El que no leyó, no se dé por aludido. ¿Ok? Good. Bueno. Well, So, uh, I explain this, and you are free, and you forget about the teacher, yes? Okay, well, so uh, you have the paper, the reading paper, acordate que tenés. No puede ser que yo tenga que estar mandando mensaje y todavía hay gente que no se dé cuenta que va a haber un writing paper, un reading paper, y un grammar paper, yes? Okay, reading, yes, read the description that match the paragraphs, yes, from A to, with the words from A to D. Then you can uh, write the adjective next to the subject. They can describe sometimes more than one adjective is possible. Ancient, beautiful, colorful, delicious. Yes, okay. So, what adjective describe food? What adjective describe clothes? How do you feel? And a place. Yes, okay. Then you have to read the description again and answer the questions. Be careful when you answer the questions. Yes, okay. Entonces tenemos a reading paper y a writing paper together. Ok, so, uh, write about, write about an important family, hay una que está escapada ahí, así que, yes, ok, about an important family occasion or event, include the, the, a description of the setting, the place, the event and the feeling. Entonces, cuando vos haces esta descripción, vas a tener que escribir the setting, The people, the events, yes, and the feeling, yeah. Where were you? It was a beautiful night. The house was a very old house next to my parents' house, yes, okay. 
Uh, I was very excited that day. I didn't feel miserable and you have to include these words, okay? But remember, when you are describing, you have to describe the setting, a set, yes, the place where you were, yes, the people, the events and the feelings, okay? That was a very beautiful and elegant house. It wasn't very luxurious, but it was very comfy, yes, comfortable, okay? Is it clear? Use specific vocabulary from third year. Is it clear? Good. Good. So, we're going to go to the grammar part. Yes, okay. the sentences with the correct form of the verbs, put in order, complete the sentence with the words in brackets, you mustn't change the words, yes, you must, you mustn't change the words in brackets, yes, okay, then you have read the sentences, okay, read the sentences, yes, and correct the underlying parts, then circle the correct option. And that is so. So I want you to concentrate. Uh, you have the homework, you have to study for next class, do the activity there, you have uh, to do the brainstorming, PDF, and record the video explaining the story. Don't read. Bye bye, happy weekend, study please, see you next class.